Hi YouTubers, welcome to one of my videos. This is sort of um, a product review to do with the X Goddy 886 GPS or sat nav. And uh, I purchased it, uh, very reasonably priced, um, because my old Tom Tom was about 10, 12 years old and um, it got a few problems. It um, couldn't find the satellites and the, the battery was playing up and um, the mounting bracket on the windscreen kept on um, breaking and it was glued several times. So I got this x unit here. However, it hasn't been without a few niggly little problems. Okay, one of the issues I've got with it is to do with the actual mounting bracket, but I've now resolved it. And what was happening with this suction pad, it wasn't slipping down the screen, but the elbow joint here um, kept on sagging and driving down the A47, it started off like that position and after a few miles it ended up like that because the elbow joint was slipping on the windscreen and the problem was the road was concrete slabs and you get a ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum and every time it hit the vehicle tyres hit the join it seems to knock it, about, knock it down so it's going dum, 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 dum so I couldn't see the screen by the time I got to a roundabout um, and I did resolve the problem and very very simple um, it took me a while to work out what was going on it was this bolt that feeds through here right through the center was in the other way and this was twisted round so what was happening is it should have teeth both ends of the piece of plastic so they grip one another and one lot of teeth was that end on the plastic and one lot of teeth was this end because this bracket was like that and this was also on the back of here was on the wrong way so that was a problem that when the bracket arrived and I didn't realize for quite some time I was going to super glue it it's only when I took it apart again um, to look at it and glue it I realized it was assembled wrong so I've solved that problem okay Another issue with the unit uh, is to do with the volume. Now, the motorhome I use it in is was made in around about 1991-92, so I think that makes it 28 years old, and it's a diesel, and it is very loud inside the, you know, where the driver is and the passenger, and at full volume, you can't hear the directions. It, you're right around about 25 30 mile an hour when you get to about 50 mile an hour when when you, which is normal driving for it you can't hear it you know the when it's on the windscreen um the speaker is is down here and it doesn't give enough reflected sound off the windscreen and it's not loud enough i've tried all the volume controls at full it makes no difference so I thought well that's that's not too bad um, it can be connected to an FM radio but because the van is so loud we took the radio out because we can't hear the radio either and we've got two voltmeters in, in the cab instead so I thought I know I'll buy myself Bluetooth speakers and use a Bluetooth function and pair it. But the Bluetooth here is only there to pair with your phone. It's not, I'll just switch it off. It's not designed to pair with a music box or, or speaker, so it won't pair with it. So there's two ways I've been working it. And one is I um, purchased a small three and a half to three and a half jack stereo jack plug and I plug it in into there and I plug it into the speaker 
but this slides around on the dashboard so it's not brilliant so what I've now done I've purchased a Bluetooth stereo transmitter so I'll recharge this and I plug it in the side there and I can put this speaker anywhere where I'm driving to hear the directions and that works very well works extremely well but it's all extra cost okay now then there's lots of extra functions on this unit um, you can play music games and you can do a slideshow of your photos you can put them on your memory card so you can look at your photos and stuff like that but the main purpose I got it really was for the navigation I'm just going to the navigation Let's see if it will come up it takes a while okay just doing a demonstration at the moment uh, a couple of things is to do with I don't know we can see you get this sort of th thing up here which says half a mile and things like that when you come into a roundabout um, one of the problems is it says like 100 yards here and then you get another symbol come up and it will say um, half a mile to the roundabout and you're thinking, well, hang on a minute, is it 100 yards or is it half a mile? And it's actually the top one you take notice of, not the other one. So you have to be a bit careful because you say, oh, I've got half a mile. After 300 yards, turn right. Anyway, so there's that issue. The symbol on the top left is the accurate one. The other one you get to do the roundabout. If it says quarter of a mile, it isn't. Oh, what's it doing now? Anyway, so that's an issue. Another thing it comes up with is when you're um, driving along, when you approach a speed camera, it'll come up with the, the speed of the speed camera. But on odd occasions, it will suddenly come up with 95. I thought 95 and what that was doing is it was showing me in kilometers but the rest of them were in miles okay so the speed cameras does all sorts of peculiar things um, another thing it was doing but I think it's possibly to do with losing the satellites driving a lot um, border of Northamptonshire all the way down to Kings Lynn uh, it was giving a countdown of the miles and one place it said 80 miles to go a few miles down the road it says it was 110 then it went down to 55 and I think it was to do with losing the, the satellite the GPS satellite signal but I'm not sure okay one thing you can do with it is you can program it for different sorts of driving conditions which is fine um, and also the vehicle now because I've got a motorhome I set it to lorry I entered the details and the maximum speed um, which I set it to 50 um, because that's about the maximum speed of the motorhome but because I was driving at 50 it kept on reminding me which is great, that's what it should do, but it's a bit of a nuisance. So I actually set it to 55. So that way if I'm driving exactly 50, it doesn't keep reminding me about the speed. Now then, the A47 is a very, very straightforward road down to Kings Lynn. Now, when you're driving down, there's um, lots of villages on the left and on the right. As we were approaching Peterborough, for some reason, it was wanted to take us round the ring road, uh, like the inner ring road of Peterborough. And 
it added quite a few miles to the destination. So I ignored it and further along it was trying to take me through some of the villages. Now bearing in mind the villages are about two miles off the A47 so it was trying to take me through a village which is two miles off the A47 which wasn't suitable for, for lorries or even the motorhome and two miles back again. The A47 is a road that's been around for many many years and I don't know what the hell it was doing. Um, so I remember to this day I, I don't know what it was trying to do. Um, that's my finding to do with it. The only other thing I've found is um, for some reason I can't get it to play videos but the instruction book that came with it is just really covers the global positioning system. It doesn't cover anything else. So I'm not sure um, you know what video format it's, it's supposed to play if any. Uh, it's got extra tools on it. Calculator and I'm not sure what that's for. And I'll just show you something else if I can find it. Go back to navigation. Right, okay. You can put fuel consumption in, unit converters, trip monitor, country information, fuel consumption, which is really, really good. But one thing it's got, which for the life of me, I can't see why you would want it on a sat nav, is this. Can you read it? Bra sizes. Bra band sizes, bra cup sizes, shoes for women, dresses for women, trousers for women, shoes for men, shirts for men, hats for men, trousers for men. Right, let's look at cup sizes. And here we have cup sizes for Europe and France, UK and Australia. Yep, that's very useful. I don't know what that's for. Anyway, band sizes. Oh, that's very useful when you're driving along and you break down. You could say, oh, I wonder what bra band size that lady over there has got. Yeah. Not sure what purpose that is. Overall, it's a very, very good screen battery life is limited like all these GPS's. Um, the bracket is a bit flimsy. It was well packed. The instructions is not too bad. They're very helpful, the company. And um, with all the problems I've had, I would recommend it. It's a lovely clean display for navigation. Just got a few little teething things, and I, I don't think the teething problems are to do with the unit itself. I think, like the speed cameras popping up with kilometres when it should be miles an hour and um, diverting me off the road. That, I don't know why I've done that. Uh, I've got to do further tests, but overall, for the value for money, I would say is excellent. Um, I'm going to contact them to find out what format it will play videos in because I don't know at the moment. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and like. Oh by the way you can buy a hard case for the, um, the GPS, the next goodie GPS and that is excellent. It's worth buying that. It's a really solid good case to store it in. Once again, thanks for watching, please subscribe and like.